Hello and welcome to Tips and Traps with Dave Adam. We're taking a look at left-handed pitcher Tom Udon from St. Anselm's College. He's pitching on this day in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for the Seacoast Mavericks. We're taking a look at his ball break timing. As we can see, he takes the ball out of his glove. He's getting his lower half going towards his target. Keeps his posture pretty good. He's pretty tall there. Getting ready to make his stride out here. And we're going to let him take it into foot strike here and check his timing. As Tom comes out, you can see he comes off that back toe just slightly, ever so slightly. He's got a little bit of hip rotation, and we're going to look at his sh front side elbow and shoulder. We can see that it looks lined up, um, could be closed a little bit more there. And as he lands into his release point, you can see that back foot coming off the ground a little bit and a little slight tilt off to his glove side. And we're going to watch the release point here as the batter looks like he's going to make an attempt at a bunt here. Tom has had a great year defensively for the Mavs, making some solid defensive plays to help out his cause this year. It's really been a nice improvement and nice to see a pitcher field his position really well. Also has a classic rotational finish as we're going to try to watch for Tom and make sure that he can control that and control his timing with it. As you can see, the leg really rotates through. He gets really excellent hip rotation and gauges that and guides that back and forth to throw a pitch a little harder, a little softer as he does. And you can see again, watch the hip rotation as he gets into it a little bit more there. And we're going to stop it now for you. Again, ball break timing. You can see his weight is transferred into that right side, getting his hip going towards the target. Okay, takes the ball out of his glove. And he's going to get ready to go into foot strike. And we stop it there from the side. Again, the heel's down right there. We may try to make a little improvement there to increase that heel rotation on the back side, which will help improve our hip rotation. And if we can keep our shoulders tidy up top, we can create better hip shoulder separation and keep our velocity into the mid to possibly upper 80s. At the release point, we're also going to make sure and Keep an eye on for Tom, his posture, as you can see, his extension's not that great as that back knee kicks forward at release point. We want to maintain some flexion in there and keep some distance between our back foot and our release point to help keep our velocity up. Although Tom, it's okay for him to alter this because of what he does with his off-speed pitches.